Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you coupling capacitor weight transistor. To understand coupling capacitor, here I'll cover what is coupling capacitor, why should we connect coupling capacitor and how should we connect coupling capacitor. So all those things that I'm going to cover in this video. First of all, you need to understand what is coupling capacitor. See coupling capacitor are capacitor that we connect in series with input and output. So you may have any circuit. With that circuit, we have input and output. So in series with input and in series with output, we connect coupling capacitor. If in circuit, if you don't provide coupling capacitor, then you will be providing direct coupling. So if you have direct coupling, then there are some issues. Those issues even I'll explain you in this video itself. So first of all, you need to understand what is coupling capacitor. See coupling capacitors are capacitors that we connect in series with input and output. So here I'll explain you coupling capacitors with transistor circuit, where here we have input and here we have output. So in series with input and output, we will be connecting coupling capacitor. If you have direct coupling, then it will alter DC bias of the circuit. And as if DC bias of circuit is getting shifted, then it will be affecting operating point of transistor. Operating point means Q point. That even I have explained you. See, operating point means Q point. So Q point means here with this circuit, output current is IC and output voltage that is VC. Right. So Q point over here that is IC VC. So this operating point that is getting shifted. If operating point is getting shifted, then there are higher chances of clipping waveforms at output side. So output waveforms may not be proper if your operating point is getting shifted somewhere. So here, see direct coupling that is not advisable. Still, I need to explain you a few basic things. As if I talk about this basic circuit, then with this circuit, here we have voltage VB. At this terminal, we have voltage VB and at this terminal, we have voltage VC, right? And let us assume we don't provide any input and output right now. So as if we don't provide any input and output, what should be the voltage VB and VC? So voltage VB, that will be as per voltage divider rule. So that is VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2, right? So voltage VB, that is VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And if you talk about voltage VC, so if I say this transistor is off right now, so in that situation, this voltage VC that is dependent on VCC only, right? That is dependent on VCC only. So without input and output, VB and VC will be this. Now let us provide direct coupling. Direct coupling means what? Here we don't provide coupling capacitor, right? So first of all, I'll be going to show you basic connection. You see here we are providing input. So input that I'm going to connect along with one resistance connected in series with input. So this is V in supply that is AC supply and in series with V in RS resistance is there. And here this is direct coupling. Why it is direct coupling? The reason is we are not connecting coupling capacitor. And at VC, here I'm connecting load resistance RL. So across load RL, we will be taking output. So now what will happen with direct coupling over here? So if you observe, see input side. So at input side, here we are having voltage VB. Now if you have direct coupling, then this VB, now that is having bias that will be as per not R2, but it will be parallel combination of R2 and RS. 
So previously we were been having VB that is VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. But now this VB, now this VB which is bias voltage. Here we are not talking about V in. Right here we are talking about what is bias voltage. So this VB, now that is VCC into instead of R2, now it will be parallel combination of R2 and RS. So R2 parallel RS divided by R1 plus R2 parallel RS. So you see here we are shifting this VB voltage as per R2 parallel RS. Previously it was R2 only. But because of input is connected here, now VB is getting shifted. Now if you talk about what is VC, here I am not talking about output voltage exactly with respect to V in. Here I am talking about bias voltage at output. Right. So if you talk about VC that was previously VCC, it was not exactly VCC. But I am saying like right now transistor is off. So VC will be VCC. Right. But if you connect RL over here, if you connect RL over here, then this VC that will be shifted as per this VC that will be shifted as per voltage divider bias. So that is VCC into now RL divided by RC plus RL. Right. So here what is happening you see. Without input and output that biasing was this. But with input and output with direct coupling biasing is getting shifted. Right. Now it is getting changed. If biasing is getting changed then what will happen? Operating point that will get shifted and as if operating point is getting shifted your output waveform that may get altered over here right that we don't want to have so what we do is we connect coupling capacitor so see in connection of coupling capacitor what will happen here at input in series with input we will be connecting coupling capacitor c1 and in series with output we will be connecting coupling capacitor c2 so what will happen because of C1 and C2? See this coupling capacitor that will be going to block DC component and it will be going to pass AC component. Right. So DC component that is getting block over here. So if DC component is getting block over here, this VB that will be this only. The reason is DC component RS effect that will not come over here. Right. This bias voltage VB will stay this only and DC voltage VC that will be as per VCC only. There is no effect because of DC component. Why? The reason is we are blocking DC component by C1 and C2. Right. And see AC component that will get entered over here. So DC bias, DC bias that will stay IC VC only that will remain constant. Right. It is not getting altered over here as we are connecting coupling capacitor. So remember always coupling capacitor that we connect in series with input and output that is just to block DC component and pass AC component. If you block DC component then what happens? If you block DC component then bias point as per voltage divider bias or any other bias that will remain same. This bias point means output voltage and output current. So output voltage and output current bias point that will not alter over here. As if it is not getting changed, then your circuit will function perfectly fine, right? So that's why in series with input and output, we connect coupling capacitor. I hope you got the point. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.